I figured you'd turn up as huh? There, Mr. Count your reward. <laughs> I'll trust you. You know, they never found the gold. Didn't he have it with him? Just one formality. Sign the book. Boy, there's nothing like taking a client's measurements to make a fellow mighty thirsty. <laughs> if anything makes you Here, thirsty. give me a swing. Come on, hand hey, it over. Hey, leave some for me. Help yourself. Hey, you. I need this for the bottle. Hmm. Thank you. He gets a bullet in the head. I get a measly five dollars for the coffin, and that bounty killer gets the whole darn reward. That's democracy. Old man. Here, why don't you have a drink to his health? Hey, look. Forty dollars. Yeah. Forty dollars. Don't let him get away. I'll be right back. Bounty killers, you got here too late. The best game's already been took, and I just finished tucking him into bed for a nice long sleep. Them small fry ain't worth risking your skin for. It's your skin, brother. Go ahead and risk it.
What can I do for you, son? I'd like to work here. I'd hire a man, but I can't afford to. Why, I hardly earn enough to keep myself. But down at the far end of town, there's a big store where they're looking for a strong youngster like you. No, thanks. I want to work right here. But... But I can't pay you nothing. How about a bowl of soup? <laughs> if a bowl of soup's enough for you, you're high. And I can always use another hand around the place.
duck. No. Lazar, don't kill me. Don't. Ah. No, no. Listen, Lazar. No. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. I'll give you all the gold. The gold is mine already. No. <laughs> and there's your reward to boot. Stanley! Hey, Stanley! It's me, Lazar! Come and give me a hand. Come on, try to hurry. Move. Lazar, how much longer are you going to keep me here? Lazar, you know the truth. You always promised that you'd help me prove my innocence. But you never do it. It's worse than being a prisoner. Don't be impatient with me. I need you, you need me. As for proving your innocence, we'll do that soon. Living like this, I might as well be dead. My life don't matter no more. But before I go, I gotta prove my innocence. Near enough to make it wiggle. <laughs> Give me your cigar. Sure. Keep your eye on it. <coughs> Holy mackerel, and that was a five cent cigar. But you smoke too much, anyhow. One more notch in this pistol. Ain't ever seen anyone could beat Lazar. Those as tries finishes in Boot Hill. Howdy, Sheriff. I just brought in Murdoch. I guess you report already, I see. Hmm. I notice you haven't missed a trick. You even predicted I'd shoot him through the forehead. We know your methods pretty well by now, Lazar. You forgot one thing, the date. He left it out. You're right. It's the only thing I wasn't sure of, friend. Don't know nothing, do you? And dead men don't tell tales.
Someday you'll make a mistake, Lazar. What you doing? Are you leaving? If it's money you want, I guess I could manage to give you a little. Not much, of course, but maybe we could try to share the taking. Well, there's always a bowl of soup for you here. And just you remember it. <laughs> so long, young fella. Wherever your road takes you, you can always think of my place as your home. Join them. Get over there. Sign him on with the rest. Move. Si, senor. And that is enough for today. Please, Medina, take me with the others. My family's starving. I must work. I'm the only one you've left out. We have not eaten for days. Please, Medina, for my wife, my babies. You must let me work. Get away. We don't need you. I already said no. 
Please, Senor Medina, you must take me. I promise to work hard, but I have such strength left. More than any young boy. I work better than any muchacho. Please, you must take me, please. Medina? Hmm? Is it such a pleasure to have him beg you? You all know what are the orders of Senor Barrett. Get away. He wants men who are young and strong. It's the only way he can make profit from the mine. I'm only doing what Senor Barrett has instructed me to carry out. Barrett, always Barrett in his gold mine. The man who stole our land, and all you do is crawl at his feet like a puppy. But this man has to work. All right, just this once. Sign him on. Thank you, Maya. God bless you. Well now, querida. Are you satisfied? You see how good I am with you? But you have to be good to me, too. Well, what do you say? Who knows? Next time. this work for three pesos. Three pesos can buy bread. Get on with it, you pig! You there! Move over! I feel ready to drop. Sanchez, where do you get all that energy? I don't know how you do it. I have a family. I think of my family. Of my wife and my babies who are starving. I, too, will soon become a father. The baby is due any day now. Who knows, today? Hey, uh, what are you two mumbling about? Stop wasting time, get back to work. There's no Maya here to protect you. Get moving. Hernandez, what are those two doing? It is nothing, Medina. Mm. They just needed a little bit of encouragement. That's all. Where's 
idea, Senor Barrett. I see that you let Maya have a way again. That man's too old for this kind of work. You should know better, Medina. He's the best man we've got. He works like a muchacho, better even. Believe me, you're wrong, Senor Barrett. It has nothing to do with Maya this time. Maya doesn't even know this man. Your Maya's a very remarkable girl. I wish I could get to know her. Perhaps I can. I don't think so, Senor Barrett. Hmm? I mean, her people would resent it. Don't worry, I'm not going to make trouble over Maya. Provided she keeps out of my affairs. You better tell her that, Medina. Tell her she ought to stick to her stupid magic and fortune telling. And don't forget it. Somebody ought to warn Medina. Wait till he's gone inside. I can't do it. Do you have one free? Sure, I have, but I must have permission from Medina or Senor Barrett.
Come back here, you lazy pig! No! No! Here, stranger. Place to spend the night. Ain't no place for strangers. Medina, there's no reason why you have to treat the stranger like that. Don't you think you ought to thank him? If he helped you, he's a friend of mine. Try to be nice this time. I'm sure he means well. Then I will look after him, Maya. Okay, stranger. I'll let you stay here. Today, tomorrow, or as long as you want. Some gun, mister. I guess you know how to use this. <laughs> First time I've seen a gun like this one. She's made for hitting the target, if you know how to pull the trigger. Don't frighten easy, eh? Do you? I said you was welcome here. Ain't you even gonna thank me, my friend? <laughs> Here, Lazar. Come on. Let's have a drink. Thank you. 
Buenos dias, Medina. The gringo at that table is Lazar, the bounty killer. So? He asked me for a room without your permission. That's all right. I'll tell Barrett. What do you want at this hour? There's a bounty killer staying down at the hotel. Who cares? I doubt if he wastes his energy gunning for any of you. This man's dangerous, Senor Barrett. It's Lazar in person. Lazar himself. Hmm? He's a mighty important person. We ought to feel honored. Why do you think I've been paying you? You know what you're supposed to do with strangers. But we couldn't. He never gave us a chance in your barracks. He got a room at the hotel. Without your permission. My permission isn't what counts. It's actions that count. And I think Lazar deserves a little visit from the welcoming committee. And you know what I mean. <laughs> What do you want? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Who are you? Tell me your name. Why have you come here to our village? That pistolero has killed four of my men. Senor Barrett. You're incompetent idiots. The only thing you're good for is frightening the peasants. You act like a pack of old ladies. All it takes is a few gunshots. Or a wink from your girl. And you're finished. And I have to lose sleep trying to solve your problems for you. Because I should have known. It was too much to expect you tin horn gunslingers to use your brains. I would really be asking the impossible. But how long is it going to take you to learn what your brains are for? Now clear out. Buenas noches, señor. And I'll take care of Lazar by myself. Whoever you are, stranger, I'd like to welcome you. I don't want you to get any wrong ideas. Last night's little disturbance was very unfortunate. You gave them a dose of their own medicine. Nobody could handle them better. I figure they never knew what they were up against. However, I'm sorry it happened. That's what I wanted to explain to you. I believe in keeping the whole thing open and above board. In talking man to man. You see, you must have reminded them of the old days, the days they're trying to forget. Eh? I guess they panicked. The village is full of men who are trying to forget the past. And I do my best to help them. I always have, and I always will. You could do quite a lot to help, too, if you're of a mind to. I'll make your proposition. This here money is all yours. It's more than enough to pay for any trouble we've caused you. Just take it and go away. That makes five thousand dollars. Well, how about it? It's a nice round sum. And you can get it without even having to draw your gun. Fair enough? Oh, come on, you can't refuse to accept it. I'm being very generous. I see. The years haven't changed you, Billy Ring. They've made you much richer. 
and money buys respectability. Try to understand, Lazar. That was long ago, and I've gone through a lot since then. I figure I've paid for any crimes I committed. I've dedicated myself to helping these men here. And that makes up for the wrongs I've done in the past. I swear, I've changed. If money was worrying you, I'm willing to pay you more than that. I'll double it for you. $30,000. I want $50,000. 50? Where can I find that much money? $50,000. You have my offer. Not a penny less. You win, Lazar. But give me a little time. Till tomorrow afternoon. Okay. Tomorrow. Skunk is asking for is outlandish. All of you put together with your horses thrown in for good measure aren't worth the sum total of what he wants. Fifty thousand dollars. Naturally, all I can do is act as a go-between for you. I hope it's also very clear to you fellas. Clear that I'm in no position to throw away such a large sum. But of course, I wouldn't think of leaving you up to your own methods at this point. So I have no choice. I've got to pay up. Or to be more exact, advance the money for you. Then I'll have to take it out of your pay in proportion to the reward offered for each of you. That is, until I get it all back, with interest, of course. Unless we get it all back at once. Get the idea? Only I don't want any bungling. I already told you that in these matters, we must use our heads.
What are you doing here? Have a look. Nothing there. I guess you're new around here. In this town, you have to work for a living. End up by stealing. <laughs> Teach him a good lesson. And tomorrow, take him down to the mine. What do you want, stranger? I'm looking for a man. There isn't anybody here. Don't touch me! Let go! Leave me alone! my house, and you're not welcome here, stranger. I guess I ought to be honored by a visit from the Tsar, the notorious bounty killer. I'm a kind of admirer of yours. Who are you? Have I seen you someplace before? Me? No. What makes you think that? Something familiar about your face. Well, let's get down to business. Well, tell me what you want. I figure you're going to need a partner to help you with the gold that Barrett's giving you tomorrow. That's right. You. There's plenty for both of us, and I couldn't do it alone. You must have a plan for getting out of the village. <laughs> Barrett's men will be on the lookout. Yeah, they'll be looking. 
your act. I'll explain everything to you tomorrow morning. But it had better be good. I know how to handle it. Don't worry. A little sleight of hand. You'll see. It's all right. By sundown, I'll be miles away. to watch Lazar and send four out to guard the trail. If anything goes wrong, you're all through. Very well, Senor Barrett. You'll see we make no mistake this time. You can bet on it. There's something about him that's terribly evil. Don't go. That look on his face. He means to hurt you. I must go, Maya. My destiny's tied to his, the same way his is tied to his victims. It's only the poor peones. Today is the feast of our patron. There's only one way out of this place. Through Raven Pass. Like I already told you, I'd never make it alone. You mean I have to cover you? No, I'm gonna cover you. I've had more experience of this sort of thing. It'll be easy. Especially this way with... Well, you dress like me, and... And he dressed like a Mexican. If all goes well, you'll be a rich man. That suits me. Suppose we should tell Medina. Yeah, let's go.
Jose. Here's the tequila from Senor Barrett. Gracias. And be sure to drink his health. And yours too, Medina. Muchas gracias to Senor Barrett.
your barrack. Been shot. Lazar, that bastardo! Juan, take him away. Uh, si, senor. Where are you hiding, gringo? Adina! That gold's mine. That's very good. First you killed Senor Barrett, and now you want to steal his gold. Well? Go away! All of you! Yes, that's now over! killed your man, Barrett. He was cheating all of you. Now put away your gun. Not until I've shot that man there! I want him alive. Alive? I have an old score to settle. But you go first.
worry, Maya. Wherever he goes, I'll follow him and get even. Do not go. I see a river of blood flowing between the two of you. Let destiny run its course. Stanley! Come here! Come and give me a hand! They were packing up all the gold and heading for Mexico. You don't look too happy about it.
I didn't expect to see you around here. What are you looking for? Your hide. <laughs> you like your little jokes, don't you? <laughs> Come on, Stanley, I ask you to help me. This man you're keeping prisoner here is my father. So he's your father, huh? Well, you should be grateful to me for saving his life. Grateful because you've made an outlaw of a man who was innocent. I didn't know that. I wasn't sure. You never even tried to find out the truth. Stanley, come and help. Your son doesn't understand that in this world you've got to act first and quick. Or you wind up being a loser. Just look what happened to you. <laughs> Come on, let's divvy up this gold. You're a rotten skunk. Uh, what are you trying to do, kid? Pick a fight? Huh? It wouldn't be worth it. Stanley! Why should we fight it with the money when there's enough gold for all of us here? Think it over, kid. You might get hurt. Sorry, Lazar. It's no use you offering me gold. You're a no good killer. You may decide to take back all of it. Can't you see how much there is here? Without even counting the other reward money. Aim for the Ford, Lazar, because that's what I'll do. Or maybe you've lost your nerve. That's the way you want it, kid. And that's the way it'll be. Say your prayers, kid, because this coffin is yours. A coffin lined with money, huh? Stanley, your reward, you're f free.